Good evening subscribers, viewers and subscribers. Today I've got a partially empty bench, but one thing I want to talk about is this glow engine market is an odd fickle thing at times. Um, but over the last few years I've got a rather nice collection of some engines here and I just want to show you what a little bit of shopping around knowledge can do for you. And this is just some of the engines that I have in my current collection that all totaled for each engine was less than a hundred dollars. And that includes the engine and the parts I needed to make it right. So let's just start here real quick. OS 60 FP exhaust is down below. Two stroke. What's this? OS 46 SF. I think I got this from a very good friend for like $35. Sato Open Rocker that I made. Sato 50 Open Rocker. I made an Open Rocker. This was a basket case engine that I bought. That was probably close to $100. I overpaid greatly for that. <coughs> OS 30 Surpass. Uh, again, everything I'm showing is under $100. Here's the daunted XY46 two-stroke engine. Those subscribers that I've had for a couple years will know, recognize this engine and all the videos I made with that. Here, OS40, FS40, the original. Another very nice classic engine. Inya 46 four-cycle. Nice runner. Sato 50. FA 50. This was a gold knight. I mean, this is the one that I stripped all the paint on. Sato 56. Recent acquisition. Just ran it today. Still dripping oil profusely from me filling it up. A couple more. OS 48 Surpass. Very nice engine. Now, I've saved some others for last. Here's one. Sato FA120, the fathead. Ugh. Yes, believe it or not, price for engine and parts to repair, repair still under $100. And then finally for today's viewing, this guy. Super Tiger S3000. Subject of several videos under a hundred under a hundred dollars also so just going to show you that you don't have to pay a lot of money to get some damn good engines if you know have a little bit of know-how and how to look for them and how to fix them thank you